Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video. In this one, I'm going to teach you how to craft the generic minion damage gloves for most minion builds, but most specifically the mage skeleton builds. And this craft can be done in a handful of different ways, but I also want to make sure that you understand that this video might be outdated at the time of you watching it. So because of that, I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions below for a written guide that will always be kept up to date. So make sure you check that out if you're watching this in another league. But as a 3.17 Arch Nemesis, this is a go. The uh, gloves I'm talking about, they look something like this for the higher tier version or higher tier budget with the energy shield in focus. And I'll be showing you both variants. The most important part of these gloves is the implicit modifier. I'm going to hold down Alt here and show you that the Searing X-Arch is a perfect roll. This is the highest tier of Searing X-Arch minion damage implicit that you can get. And then we have an increased effect of marks from the Eater of Worlds implicit modifier. And then we also have a prefix modifier with, of Essences with additional 30% minion damage, totaling at 59% minion damage, which is absolutely fucking disgusting. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind when it comes to this craft. And first off is looking at the implicits. Now, the implicits, they are somewhat expensive. You are able to craft tier 1, 2, 3, up to tier 4 of this. Uh, and the they can go up to level 6, if you will, or tier 6, or whatever you want to call it. And this is only done through order of conflict. Now, this is a very expensive process, but there's a few ways you can do this to generate a safer way to approach this before you start smacking essences on it. But for the sake of low-budget version of these gloves, what you would simply do is go to the Trays website and simply search for uh, Minions Deal Damage, and then you scroll the way, all the way down to Implicit. You look for minion damage implicit, make sure that you're searching for a pair of gloves. And if you want to be real picky, you can simply look at whatever base of gloves you're using and search for whatever item level you want for the mods you want. And normally for these type of builds, you want to have dexterity. Now dexterity, as you can see here, requires for tier 1 dexterity an item level of 85. So preferably you want to check for item level 85 or higher and then search. And as you can see, you're getting a lot of uniques, and then you can click on the Any Unique tab as well and do the search this way. And this will allow you to see that you can purchase gloves for this for 10 Chaos. You can even get some Energy Shield bases for um, 30 Chaos, so you can get some Armor bases for 35 Chaos. So this is basically the baseline price they used to go for 5 to 10 C. This is one of the crafts I've been doing a lot for profit, but it's something that is very good to learn how to use or do either way. So now that you know how to snipe off the base, you can actually just craft them with this craft uh, from the start. And I'm going to show you that process in, uh, in, the, in the video right now. So once you have the base looking like this, I can show you through the emulator on Craft of Exile by creating... Sorry, simulator, no. Emulator. Create new item. There we go. And clicking the gloves and going for something like an intelligence-based glove, say a sorcerer gloves, no influence... And these are gloves are supposed to have the implicit modifier with minion damage. So what you do now to craft them is very simple. All you have to do is use Essences of Fear. Now, Essences of Fear are very cheap. You can look at the prices of these Essences right now. They're going for two chaos each, and this is because of the Atlas tree providing so many Essences. It's just absolutely disgusting, which drops the value of a lot of these things to being dirt cheap. And this opens up this craft for very low budget approaches as well. So by using Essence of the Fear, the only thing we're looking for is something like, well, exactly like this. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, you're looking for a high dexterity roll with resistances and HP. But one of those modifiers can be taken away and be replaced with a benchcraft. So in this case here, we have dex and resistances. And then you can benchcraft HP by doing it this way and going to lifecraft. And you'll simply have your finished product, just like that. More essences, one more. This one has a decent life. There's intelligence, but not very good modifier here. On the other hand, in, if this happens, you can always utilize a beast craft to move a suffix into a prefix. But because of the prices in the current market of fear, it's just better to click fear again. And just keep spamming this till you get a good outcome. There's a couple of things you can do to play around with this. Um, such as this situation right here that has a life roll that is very, very bad. And that is because of the fact of the new influence orbs. 
Now, the new influence orbs are very straightforward. You have the chaos orb, which will reroll either prefixes or the suffixes of an item, depending on which influence is dominant. And you have the annulment, which will remove a suffix or a prefix, depending on which one is dominant. And lastly, exalted orb one, which depends on which one is dominant, if it's going to add a prefix or a suffix. So what's really good with this is to understand which one is dominant or not. If you look at these gloves here, I have a highest level minion damage, which is a searing exarch. And the other one is only exceptional, which is a tier 4. And the tier 4 is lower than the other one, which means that Searing Exarch is the dominant influence here. Um, if you snipe a pair of gloves like this, all you need to do is simply use one simple Lesser Eldritch Icker, which costs nothing. You probably have tons of them already in your inventory. And you just use that on the item, and then you can guarantee the fact that the dominant influence is, in fact, the Searing Exarch. You don't actually need to have the other influence for this to be the case. And then you're actually able to use these orbs with the fact in mind that Searing Exarch is the dominant uh, feature. Now, the Searing Exarch Chaos Orbs reroll prefixes. The Essence modifier, as you can see here, is, in fact, the prefix modifier, so we can never use the Chaos Orbs. However, the Orb of Annulment removes a random prefix. This means that on an item like this, you can use that craft and it will 50-50 remove the minion damage or the life from the pair of gloves. You can also, at the same time, bench craft HP. If you were to remove this mod and you were able to bench HP, you can actually slam this item by using the Eldritch Exalted Orb instead because it guarantees adds an actual prefix modifier and the prices of these is going for 4 chaos each. So it's a very cheap way to add another modifier by simply using an Exalt that way. In this case, we got the Tier 1 Energy Shield, which is actually pretty good in this example. So that is one way of doing it, and the beast craft should be included as well, but you always need to make sure to compare this with the cost of just using more essences of fear. It is very easy to hit mods with this. Even this would be perfectly fine to keep. It depends on what you're going for, either for the sake of profit, or if you're looking to actually get a pair of gloves that you want to use. I would normally try to prioritize getting at least a tier 4 or tier 3 dexterity, because it helps alleviate a lot of pressure in terms of stats on the build, for most minion builds, especially because we're nowadays using Ashes of the Stars. So that is the way you craft the low-budget version of them. You a TLDR of it is that you snipe a base with the minion damage implicit, and then you smack Essences of Air till your heart's content. When it comes to the higher-budget version, it's a little trickier. So the higher-budget version, the it means that you want to upgrade the minion damage on the actual gloves, and this is best done before you craft on it, because spamming this after you finish the item can be very, very expensive. And this is going to be using the Orb of Conflict, like I mentioned before, where you're able to upgrade a modifier through the Orb of Conflict and lower the other one. So in the example of having a base like this purchased, what you would do is you would make it have another influence on it. In this case, I would just use the Lesser Eldritch Icker to apply a bad mod. And then I would use the Orb of Conflict to 50-50 upgrade that one. However, these cost about 20 chaos in the current state of the market, you don't really want to have a lucky, a bad luck streak of lowering that uh, all the way down and suddenly spending Exaltus trying to get it back up or even losing it entirely. So to prevent this, you can use Imprint Orbs. Imprint Orbs looks like this. These orbs are generated from a Beast Yuri craft, and the beast you need to purchase is called Kreshik. I don't think I have any more, actually. Okay, Meryl, I don't. Um, they look like this. This is the craft. Uh, creates an imprint of a magic item. So make sure that you scour the item that you purchased and just put a transmutation orb on it, make it blue, and then you create an imprint of it. Make sure that you put the lesser icker on it before you imprint it. So the item has the minion damage implicit as well as this bad modifier. Then you imprint the item, and after doing so, you will then use the orb of conflict on the item, which will 50 50 either upgrade. Um, the, the minion damage or downgrade it. If it downgrades the minion damage, you will use the imprint orb on the item and it will revert it back to what it was when you started the imprint craft. And then you will just do the imprint one more time to have that safeguard or safe state of the item and then use the over conflict again. When you hit it and you upgrade the minion damage, you will destroy the imprint orb so you don't accidentally use it again. And then you will imprint again on the new version that has a higher tier mini damage. And that is the process for you to get your mini damage up to a higher tier. And then if you want to put a proper 
it's eating either a world's modifier, like in my case, I have increased effective marks. The process in this case would be to use the highest tier of exceptional, in this case, Eldritch Icker, and these are pretty expensive. Again, like I mentioned, that process to get the higher tier of the implicits is costly. It's very expensive. And this is something you do before you start crafting it. Then you can start crafting it with the Essences of Fear again. Another example of this is the gloves that I, I'm showing on screen right now, which have dexterity, but I'm going for energy shield. And this is for the mirror tier version of mage skeletons in the current state of the game, where I want energy shield instead. You also should be looking into the possibility of multi-crafting it like I have in here, where there's multi-crafted for resistances and also flat energy shield. It's not the best, but it's what I'm using as a backup pair of gloves at the moment. So with that information, keep in mind that this is the expensive version of crafting them. And it's done in the exact same way. It's just that with the higher budget version, you're also going to be accepting the fact that you might want to spend some exalteds on actually multi-crafting the item. Other than that, it's a very generic guide. I used it to, uh, I think I made about 100, 150 exalteds on the first 10, 10 days of the league crafting these. So they were very profitable. Not sure if they're profitable right now, but it's a very good craft to understand and learn how to do uh, both for yourself and also for future leagues coming up as well. Hope you guys had used to this video. Again, keep in mind that this video might be outdated. So if you're watching it later than 3.17, look at the written description, written guide in the descriptions below and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more content and leave a comment down below if you find this video useful. Till next time, stay safe and keep rocking.